Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Josh Fan of ShowMeFootball.com and today I wanted to make a video uh, kind of reviewing Mizzou versus Florida uh, from this past Saturday. I didn't do a post game or a pre game uh, preview. I've just been really busy lately and I've had a lot of stuff going on around me and I just wasn't able to do one, but I was able to watch um, pretty much all of the game. And uh, I wanted to really make a video with one main point because after watching that game, there's just this thought that I have and it will not go away. Um, you'll probably already know what it is by the title of the video. Um, and also you should probably just know what it is if you watch the game. Um, but look, Mizzou has to make a change at quarterback. And at this point in the season, I don't think that's a panic take. I think it's a very reasonable take. I mean, Mizzou now is two and four. And in their last three games, quarterback has been, well, really all season, quarterback has been a major issue. But I highlight the last three games specifically because if you look at what happened against Florida, Georgia, and Auburn, if Brady Cook just makes a few more plays, they win all three of those games, which, you know, is why I'm not going to put a bunch of this on drink because I know after that game, a lot of people are still coming after drink and I get the record is ugly and everything like that. But guys, this team is so close. This team is so close to winning these games. And I know people don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear moral victories, just like against Georgia where they couldn't close the deal, but they played Georgia really, really close. But guys, they are so close. Why would you fire a coach who was this close to winning you those games? I mean, as... The great Bobby Bowden once said, a program is built in four stages. First, you lose big, then you lose close, then you win close, and finally, you win big. Right now, we are in the lose close stage. Mizzou is losing close to some, you know, pretty decent teams. Uh, they really should have beaten Auburn that game, you know, with Harrison Mevis missing that field goal and an eight-peat fumble. Like, that one sucks. You'd like to have that one back. But against Georgia and Florida... Those would have been two quality wins. And, well, of course, Georgia, because they're the number one team in the country. But, like, even Florida, you know, that would have been a quality win. And also, we could have hung it over Florida fans' heads because Florida just, they're one of those fan bases that just acts like we don't belong in the SEC when we led the all-time series against them going into Saturday. But that's besides the point. You know, this game really made me feel like we needed to make a change at quarterback because... If you, I really feel like this was a game where Brady Cook lost the game. Like, Brady Cook lost the game. He threw two crippling interceptions. One pick six where it just wasn't even close to anybody. And that got returned for a Florida touchdown. And it made the defense look worse because the defense played another amazing game. And then, you know, Florida gets six points because of Brady Cook. And then there was another one in the red zone where Mizzou really needed a touchdown. They were almost certainly going to get three if they didn't get seven. And then Brady Cook throws another awful interception. I believe the pass was intended for Toski Dove and the route got jumped. And it's like, seriously? Like, why? And then what really bothered me was when Mizzou was at about half field with um, just under two minutes left in the game. A touchdown would have tied it. They did all this work to come back. Uh, Cody Schrader and Nate Pete just put together a really good drive to score um, the possession before that. You know, they were driving, and then all of a sudden, it's fourth down. They need to play for a few yards. They draw up a slant play. Again, I believe it was for Toski Dove. I could be mistaken on that. But they draw up a slant, and you can argue there was pass interference, but also... Brady Cook overthrows the guy by like 10 yards on a slant. And that's something that he's done all year long. He's overthrowing these simple slants and posts like 10 yards over these guys' heads. And it's like, that was the moment where I'm like, all right, of all of Mizzou's flaws this season, you know, play calling, offensive line, quarterback, I feel like the play calling hasn't really been an issue the last few weeks. I feel like the offensive line hasn't been a total embarrassment. I feel like they've improved a little bit. They're also getting healthier. Uh, starting right tackle, Hyron White, I heard there's a chance he's back after the bye week um, against Vanderbilt. So, like, I felt like the offensive line wasn't the reason Mizzou lost against Florida. 
what is keeping them from winning games at this point, in my opinion, the only thing keeping them from winning games at this point is the quarterback play. Brady Cook. I think it's time to make a change because now you're two and four. You know, a lot of fans probably aren't that interested. They know Mizzou isn't very good. And, you know, what's the worst if you put Sam Horn out there or Tyler Macon even? Um, but, like, Sam Horn, I know he's the big name. He's the guy I've mentioned before. You know, I would consider starting him because you need to give fans something to be excited about. And if you throw Sam Horn out there, um, what's the worst that could happen? You lose games, but this time you're losing with Sam Horn because you're losing games with Brady Cook already. Brady Cook just isn't getting it done. I mean, in Brady Cook's last five games against Power 5 teams, he has a touchdown-to-interception ratio of one touchdown to five interceptions. That's typically a stat that gets a quarterback benched. Like, he has to be better than that, and he just hasn't been, and I don't see how it gets better because I don't think Brady Cook has that kind of ability, and it's really frustrating because I wanted Brady Cook to be good, and I know how much he wants to be Mizzou's quarterback. He dreamed of it since he's been a kid. He's a great ambassador for Mizzou. I like his ability to run the ball, but he's an active detriment to the team right now. And at some point, you have to feel bad for Mizzou's defense because they're putting together some incredible performances. I mean, this defense is legit, guys. We've seen enough of it at this point. Like, they are good. They fly around. They got so much depth everywhere. They can get to the quarterback. They got a lot of good talent in that secondary. A lot of the transfers that they brought in have made an impact. They have guys that have stepped up, like Damian Wilson, who came in for Chad Bailey in wake of injury. You know, Joseph Charleston looks good. Ennis Rakestraw is starting to progress after coming out from that uh, torn ACL last year. This defense, it's so good. Tyron Hopper, you know, he's the star of this defense. I, I just love everything about it. Blake Baker's doing an incredible job. And The offense is just letting them down. They're totally letting them down. And you wonder how many of these performances they can put together before they start to collapse a little bit because there's just too much pressure on them. You're asking them to do too much. You're asking them to score for you. I mean, I'm praying and hoping on every defensive stand by Mizzou that they're able to get a pick six or return a fumble for a touchdown because it feels like it's one of the only ways they can score. I understand Sam Horn might not be ready, but is Brady Cook ready? You know, I... I would go with the guy that has the most upside. And you play a team next week, Vanderbilt, which that should be a win. I would at least try. I would start Sam Horn. I would consider it. I would consider trying something new because, again, Brady Cook is not getting it done. Sam Horn, you know, if he's the future, he should be able to go out there, even as a freshman, and at least show you some flashes, show you that he can hit a deep throw and not be a disaster. Otherwise, that just means Drink will have to go out and recruit another transfer again this offseason, which if he has to, fine. You know, you do what you need to do to make the roster, you know, good enough to where you can win games. But, you know, I'd almost rather see Sam Horn go out there now. If he does well, great. Then you have something to look forward to next year and you inject some life into this team on offense. And then if he's not good or if you don't think he shows enough to where he could even be good next year, well, then now you know, hey, I need to go out this offseason and recruit a transfer, or maybe Gabari Johnson, the true freshman, ends up being pretty good. I don't know. But that way you know you need to address quarterback again. Because if Drink waits till next year to show us Sam Horn, and then Sam Horn ends up not being good, well, then Drink's out of here. You know, he's, he's not getting fired this year, but next year if we don't see improvement, yeah, he's probably going to be gone. So I would throw Sam Horn out there. You know, you got the bye week to think about it, to game plan for it, I would really consider it if I was Drinkwitz because this Brady Cook thing just is not working. You can't win with him at quarterback. You can't win SEC games with Brady Cook at quarterback. We've seen it, and it doesn't work. They're winless in conference play right now. And you can argue that with a different quarterback, with better quarterback play, that they win those three SEC games against Auburn, Georgia, and Florida. I just feel like this team is better than people are giving them credit for. Again, the defense is fantastic. The running game has been pretty damn good the last few weeks. Pete and Trader are, you know, looking like a great one-two punch right now. And the Mizzou offensive line, for as much as it struggles in pass protection, at least, they're making some pretty big holes in the run game. And I think they've improved in pass protection since the beginning of the season. They still need to clean up the penalties, but, you know, that's another story. 
I just believe at this point, the only thing holding Mizzou back, and I'm not saying they're a perfect team, but I think the only thing holding them back from winning these games that we're seeing them lose is the quarterback play. And that's why I'm saying they need to make a change at quarterback because it's just getting unbearable to watch. It's frustrating because they really probably would be 5-1 and one if they just got a little bit better quarterback play. I mean, they're so close to winning these games, guys. And that's why I still believe in drink. I know that the quarterback situation isn't ideal right now. And that's why a lot of people aren't giving drink a pass. And people still will complain about his play calling. I don't think his play calling has been very bad these last few weeks. In fact, I think it's been pretty good. I think he's putting the team in a position to win games, despite the fact he has a very limited offense, a very limited quarterback. The players at some point just have to execute. They're just so close, man. They are so close. And I think if we just give this program time, if we give Drinkwitz time, he will start winning these games. We will start seeing improvement. And Mizzou can battle for a top spot in the SEC East. I I firmly believe that. But in order for that to happen, we have to get better quarterback play. And if I'm Drinkwitz, I consider making a change at quarterback next week against Vanderbilt. I would start Sam Horn if it was me. See what he's got. Maybe throw some Tyler Macon in there, almost kind of like when Connor Bazelak went out last year and you played multiple quarterbacks with Brady Cook and Tyler Macon. You know, that could be fun. It could give you something different. You know, at this point, I'm trying anything because Brady Cook just isn't getting it done. Um, Those are my thoughts after the Florida game, though. It's frustrating because they really should have beat Florida. Florida is... It would have been a quality win. It would have been a good win on the schedule. You would have been 3-3, three and three, which looks a hell of a lot better than 2-4. and four. Um... It's unfortunate because I really would have liked to win that game. Um, but hopefully it sparks a change or we see some improvement. I just I really hope so. But I want to hear from you guys in the comments for sure what you thought of that Florida game. Uh, would you make a change at quarterback? You know, What do you think? I'd love to hear from you guys. But with all that being said, make sure you like, share, and subscribe so more Mizzou fans can find this. And make sure you check out my work uh, here on YouTube. Uh, make sure you're subscribing. And then make sure you check out my work on showmefootball.com as well. But I will see you all in the next one. M-I-Z.